Welcome back class, I'm Matt your guide here on Y Caliber. We're playing Dragon Age Inquisition and it looks like my team is ready to report in. So let's go see what they've got for us. Hey y'all. Okay. Power for a price. Inquisition size to behold. A trade not just in treasure but in will. So I guess they're somewhere in the fort now in Skyhold. Serve any master. <laughs> That's good. Got a little bit of gold there. Find Crestwood's mayor. Let him stew there until the Inquisitor brings him out for judgment. Ah, so that's some judgment I'll have to do. Escape routes for the agents. Tunnels are complete. Good. Oh, they found some old stuff. Nice. And hard in high town. You encroach upon the domain of higher powers. You will answer to us. All right. I'm going to assume that's for Varric. A wax seal depicting six crossed swords. Hmm. Well, that's interesting at least. So these are all resource collection things. Gather coin as well. So let's go see where we can send our people in Orlay. Western Approach resources, Colonel Graves resources, Alliance is observing the deadlock. Keep meaning to do this one and then not doing it. Alright, off you go, Liliana. Let's see what we have. And let's see here. Completed. Rescue the Spy, Serpent of Navarra. to Vinter Resistance. Alright, let's see. Rescue the Spy. That's the one that we heard about. Alright, Josephine. Send Inquisitor. them off there to extract our spy with your powers of diplomacy. And the Servant of Navarra. To Vinter Mage by the name of Aurelius. Uh, it's going to take a really long time if we send Cullen to do it. Mm. What about this one? Well, it looks like Cullen's best uh, suited for this one. Dorian received some news from Maveris. It seems a little resistance has drawn support, just as she hoped it would. The thing is, that support comes in the form of idealistic magisters with no real power. All the ones who might see your group as a threat are the true heavy hitters. Reading between the lines, I'd say Maveris is in more hot water than she lets on. She's crafty, but she could use more help right about now, or the resistance might die on the vine. Up to you, but if you ask me, enemy enemies of the Vonatori should be friends of ours. Yeah, send some Templars. Alright. Perfect. To work? Yeah, get those Templars out there, Cullen. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna go and check... Oh, I got the, um... I got this finally, so we can go and open some doors at some point. Finally. I'm going to go and check on my garden, though. See if it's actually growing any of that elf root that I want it to be growing. Oh, and it's... they want me to judge a prisoner. I suppose I'll do that. Boop. Who have you got for me? The chair looks so uncomfortable. Mayor Gregory Dedrick of Crestwood is present for betraying his own constituents. He confesses that, ten years ago, he flooded old Crestwood to kill refugees and villagers touched by the blight. The mayor claims it was to spare the rest of Crestwood, but we only have his word. If the mayor has anything to say in his defense, let him speak. There's no cure for the blight. But I couldn't convince anyone to leave a sick child or husband behind. So you herded the infected into one place and flooded old Crestwood? Were no innocents caught in the waters? 
Nearly everyone in the village had the blight. I swear it. Have mercy. I couldn't tell the survivors I'd drowned their own families to save them. I, I, I couldn't. Hmm. Exile him, kill him off, or give him to Ferelden. Doesn't look like I can turn him into an agent. You committed murder on Ferelden's soil. Let them deal with your punishment. Send him to Denerim. He can live the rest of his life behind their bars. In prison? Maker. I should have drowned with them. Well, I mean, I don't necessarily think you did the absolutely wrongish thing, but that's the trouble with history. You're going to be punished, regardless. Why am I going upstairs? I'm not entirely sure. I guess I could talk to Vivienne. I don't know why I'd want to. It's a noble calling, the Knight Enchanter. You have joined the ranks of the most select mages. Oh god, are you a You should enchanter? be commended. So few have the discipline necessary. I didn't realize you were a Knight Enchanter, Vivienne. Of course I am, darling. Knight Enchanters serve in the highest echelons of the Chantry and Circle. Where else would I be? Well, <laughs> we are the best. I'm pleased you approve of my choice. You have your moments, my dear. Uh, I'm done talking to you. Do I have another prisoner to judge? Why is it telling me to judge another prisoner? What's going on there? No, I already judged the prisoner. So, sitting in judgment is done. Some labels here might be nice. Is this the garden? What's going on down there? Maybe this is the garden? Off we go. I, you know, I at least hope this is... Yeah, okay, good. Now I'm hoping that these pots have actually grown plant... Why is it only like one at a time? It's so slow. Alright. Seriously, we only get one each time? One each time. Brutal. Alright then. Uh, well, we still don't have enough of the other stuff we need to uh, put together. Wait, what's this? Cullen. Right. Well, I want to know what's going on down here. So let's pop over there. I think that's the closest location that we've got. See how our folks are doing. Greetings. Do you have any advice for me? Tell that demon, what does it call itself? Cole. Tell it to leave. Oh, he may not mean harm, but that does not mean he will not harm us. Spirits are not creatures to take at face value. Be cautious with him, Inquisitor. Okay. That's enough for now. Another time, then. Another time, then. Uh, let's go and check out what's going on in here. See if the bull wants to chat. He probably doesn't. Hey, Krem. Your worship. We've already talked. We'll talk later. The bull. How's it going? He just does not want to chat. Bull. Nice talking with you, boss. We didn't talk, though. Sarah's in here somewhere? 
We don't need those chargers. We've soldiers enough without cell swords. Look at that, Captain. What good could that bring? Mm. How much did you need? Can't trust any of them. No cause but money. Sarah's cabinet of wonder whose it was. <laughs> Oh boy. Stuff needs a place. Banner, circle, soft, lizard, rough and weird. Hala, fake, real ones sink, stink. Cards, little worlds. Goblet, fancy cup, cup, shit goblet. <laughs> Bottle, word and strong. Bottle to winter, piss weak. Stupid sword, there's a small blood stain. Silk, bolts, not arrow bolts. Soft, make something. I think that minstrel Meriden is chatting me up. The song is creepy. I hope that's the case of the leader like that. Isn't this the song from the end of Dragon Age Origins? Hey, Sarah. Hey, you. I have an inquisitor favor to ask. Oh, yeah. Just a little thing, really. A little march around for some of your people. It's nothing for you, right? Okay. All right. Let's hear what you've got. Jump right in, huh? I like that. You it's know a you don't. Jenny thing. I got a tip that some noble stiffs are arguing over Vershell. Land squabble. Hmm. They're getting little people beat up. So I need you to go to your big table and send some people to walk through town. Just walk through? Just walk through. Easy, right? Was this a tip from one of your friends? Not a Jenny. Just normal angry people getting sick of being in the middle. I don't usually hear about things this far away. But having a friend like you is like getting really big ears. <laughs> Bigger ears, I guess. Shut up. Oh, pretty big ears too, it's alright. Who is asking for this? I'm asking because I heard people complaining. See, when nobles fight, it's not them. It's their little people stuck in the middle. Mm -hmm. It's like a polite war, so no one pays attention. But if you march through, the people up top feel threatened too. Stuff like this is always happening. Good sovereigns to be made if you're one of the few who notice. What does the Inquisition get out of this? Nobles think everyone is out to get them. So when your helmets march through, both sides will think the other's your ally. Oh. Both get scared, both make deals. Worst case, you get a little bump among the people just because they see you active. Can't promise anything, but something will happen. Just like always. Fair enough. All right, Sarah. I'll have someone look into it. It's fun, right? Being important without doing a thing. Well, not much of a thing. <laughs> not everything has to be torn skies and ancient assholes. Every little thing makes a difference somewhere. And that's why the Inquisitor needs someone like Sarah around. Can I just walk out here? I cannot. The window's open, but not that open. Can I tell those people to shut up about the chargers? Yeah, I'll bet. Alright, so what's going on over here? Whee! A word to the wise. When all else fails, amputate. So you don't need a hand. So what are these exclamation marks here for? I don't see anything. Is this just a glitch? It feels like this is just a glitch. Hello, anything new, There's Bonnie? Nothing too useful then. Gurgut. Deep Stalker. Nothing there, nothing there. That we don't already have better versions of. We should probably get some of these. Okay. I haven't seen that anywhere else, so I may as well have some. Oh yeah, I need to remember where to drop those off. I think that's up near Liliana. Oh, so you've got the rune stuff. Uh, I guess I'll get that. Alright. It wasn't. Deceased, maybe. You didn't see it. It had colored fire. 
Really? My father saw the last archdemon. You don't know anything. Okay. All's well. Good. Farewell. Make her be with you. And also with you. Alright, what's this? I think we've already been to this store, perhaps? Yeah, it's all crappy stuff. Mm-hmm. This is like the starting area stuff. And what's this? Oh, Sigrid. You get a title, I get the boot. I see how it is. I mean, thanks for my life. Please to serve. I didn't kick you out, man. Ferris the representative. Inquisitor, you have come to the attention of the powerful, and I am the response. Okay. Sir Faris at your service. You will find my wares unique. I sell influence. You what? That doesn't look like influence. That looks like armor. To me. But I mean, maybe... Uh, I'm wrong? Oh. Okay. So... So if I buy this, I get a certain amount of influence? So if I buy that... Uh, yeah, I don't actually want that. Alright. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Did I just cheat? I don't know if I just cheated or not. Oh, ah, uh, damn it. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. I'll, I'll go buy it back. I'm sorry about that. <sighs> what was it? Alright. Oh, damn it. Well, I I don't know how to win there. I'm sorry about that. I think it's broken. So I I don't know, I guess that's a bug. Sorry about that. I did not know that I was exploiting a bug there. All right, let's move along then. How are things going in the armory? Good, good. Uh, was there anything else I wanted to do out here? I don't think so. How do you know they won't attack here? Dark spawn don't think. Think wrong. Think worse. Don't How are you doing, Varric? Oh. Battling the demons of paperwork? That's a fight nobody walks away from clean. You have no idea the number of times I've almost been killed by bills of lading. I've been meaning to come talk to you anyhow. Oh, what's up? I never officially joined the Inquisition. I don't know how to do this, uh, disciplehood thing. I'm a businessman. Never really followed a chosen one before. Uh, <laughs> I don't need a disciple. I need a friend. If you knew how intimidating you are, you wouldn't make it sound so simple. You just don't know what you are to the people out there. The Herald of Andraste is a symbol bigger than any of us. Hmm. So what exactly am I to the people out there? The sky tears open, demons everywhere. To ordinary folks, these are the end times. The only hope they have is you. You're the sign that somebody might hear their prayers. That maybe they're not abandoned after all. You heard the crowd singing after Haven was attacked? Yeah. Please tell me you aren't going to burst into song now. 
Don't worry, I'm not that cruel. Thank goodness. I should probably get back to work. Unless, uh, you up for a game of Wicked Grace? Are we actually going to play this? No. All right. Well, I suppose it's good to know that... Inquisitor. That's me. I'm Inquisitor. How are you? There's so many doors in this part. There's just doors everywhere. And what else did Lady Forsythia say? That she'd rather drown herself than help the Inquisition. Oh, nice of her. Anything else? She said she'd have us flogged alive if we allied with her brother. <laughs> that does sound like her. Cheer up, Josie. We at least have our attention. You always do find the brighter side of things. How's it going? Oh, okay, bye. We are in the midst of cementing an alliance with Lady Forsythia of Nevara, your worship. It's become a somewhat delicate task. Oh, uh, yeah? Can I do anything to help negotiations? Uh, thank you, but I believe I have matters in hand. Of course you I do. dissuaded her from sending soldiers when she learned we'd struck an accord with a brother she's feuding with. Lady Forsythia simply employs a colorful manner of speech. <laughs> You're rather good-natured about threats of death and dismemberment. They are chiefly bluster, Inquisitor. Most of them. There's no but reason to I dismiss them. I do miss my staff from the embassy in Antiva. It was always useful to discuss the day's visitors with them. I have time, if you'd like to review things with me. I wouldn't wish to impose. If it were imposing, I wouldn't have offered. Well, I admit, there are a few potential alliances it would be good to discuss. All right, let's discuss some alliances. Right on the parlor floor, in front of everyone at the soiree. Goodness me. Who does such a thing in front of their guests? The Duke of Kellington, apparently. And then there's calls lurking. It frightens our guests half to death. Lord Jinnar still won't respond to our letters. And Sarah, can she not find a single overcharge with that mustard taint on it? No. Then there's Dorian. The man refuses to take anything seriously unless it suits its whim. Not to mention... Oh, oh goodness. Have we been here an hour already? Gossiping? It went by so quickly, I didn't even notice. You're far too polite. I didn't intend to go on for so long. You must think me quite the gossip. Spending time with such an engaging woman is never unpleasant, Lady Montillier. Goodness. I'm... Well, I'm, I'm glad I haven't wasted your day. Well, I've taken up quite enough of your time already. Yeah. Until next time, Your Worship. Until the next time, all the best. Josephine has the best diplomat outfit. Oh, we're pretty high up out here. Oh, these are my quarters. That's why. Duh. Oh, oh didn't quite make the jump. Invisible wall! I wonder. Now we have to go out to the main hall from here. That's fine. I should go up and chat with, uh... What was I going to do? I had a whole plan and everything. Well, it involved going up there, so let's go up there. All the same. Maybe Liana's got something to tell us. Or Dorian. Ha <laughs> ha! Ha ha! Your open support for the mages likely earned you enemies. Yeah. Our agents will monitor the situation. Thanks. If the most opposed can be identified, we may still turn this to our advantage. Hmm. People can hate me if they wish. That gets us nowhere. The Inquisition is young. We need to build our support. Regardless, I applaud you for the courage to stand up for the mages. Special. I watched you die for me? 
in Redcliffe, you sacrificed yourself so that I could return here. Of course I did. One small life in exchange for a second chance at history. I always loved a bargain. Hmm. It was still a sacrifice, and still noble. And I would do it again. The Divine's death hit you hard. How have you been feeling? Oh. You are referring to my outburst in the Haven. I... I am much better now. Justinia was such a dear friend and... There were so many things going wrong. Sometimes it's best to talk these things out. I was there when the hero of Ferelden defeated the Archdemon. We won the day, and I thought the Maker smiled on me. Mm. When the Divine requested my help, I went to her. I owed her that much. I sacrificed so much to do the Maker's work. But now, Justinia is dead. So I was angry. It. I felt betrayed, but I shouldn't have let my emotions get the better of me. I'm sorry. Don't apologize. You were grieving and upset, I understand. Thank you. Now enough of this. Let us think more pleasant thoughts. Anything I should know? It seems that the Olesian army is awaiting our next move. Some of the generals are sympathetic to our cause. Others are still suspicious. Our actions are under a great deal of scrutiny. All right. I'll leave you to your work. Anything new on this book? No, same one. Down, down, down we go. Down we, down we go. Where's the thing? Where's the table thing? Here it is. That's what I was going to do. That's it. I'm pretty sure there was more. Didn't I have more stuff? I still don't know what to do with this. Do I sell it? Do I keep it? Oh, there we go. Damage bonus against undead. All right. Ooh. It is beneficial that you resolved the issue I presented, Inquisitor. Alright. What was that? Did I level up? Or something else? What is your evaluation of how we're doing? Adequate. Based on the partial improvements to Skyhold. Alright. As you were. Yes, Inquisitor. Hey, I leveled up. Greetings again, Inquisitor. I trust everything is well with the mages? Most are pleased with the Alliance, even if we wonder what will happen next. I'll leave you to it. Alright, so that goes through to here. I'm learning my way around, slowly but surely. Mr. Gray. I could watch you roam Skyhold all day. Ooh. Here and there you run, checking in on your followers. Why don't they come to you, feed you grapes, rub your shoulders? <laughs> I suppose it's more fun this way. For me, I mean. You're rather strapping. Oh, well. I've noticed you're rather strapping yourself. Of course you have. That only takes eyes. Woo. Luckily, I have those. <laughs> you do. A rather fetching pair. At any rate, you didn't pass by to hear me fawn. Something on your mind? No, I just wanted to hear you fawn. Oh, I could begin a romance with Dorian. Maybe later. My heart still belongs go. to the Iron I Bull. I rather like watching you leave. Alrighty. <laughs> hey, Solas. Hope you don't mind me dropping in again. The new again. power you wield. I heard from Cassandra that it is the magic of the Night Enchanters. If I am not mistaken, the techniques descend from those of ancient elven mages, called Arcane Warriors. You're not mistaken. I wonder what they would think to see their magic used in defense of the Chantry. You know I'm not defending the Chantry. I doubt they were called Arcane Warriors in Elven. The formal name for the techniques you have learned was the Dothena Enasaline, knowledge that led to victory. 
Mages who eschewed physical confrontation called it Gilanim Banalvel, the path that leads astray. Oh. What can you tell me about the arcane warriors? They were elite guardsmen, serving as bodyguards or champions for nobles, as I understand. Mages who focused on spirits or the Fade might sneer at their physicality, but never doubted their honor. They were the living embodiment of will made manifest. Mind shaping the body into the perfect weapon. Cool. I hope the ancient elven warriors would be pleased to see their techniques survive. I hope so as well. So much knowledge has been lost. Perhaps having something they created carried forward, even in such a different form, would gratify them. Did you need anything else? Hmm. Not at the moment. We'll talk later. Goodbye. Hi again, Varric. How are we doing there, Gatsy? Inquisitor. Completed anything? Stone Mad Inquisitor. Do you have any insight into the stories these tiles are supposed to tell you what? Who better, right? A good dwarven perspective. Yeah. Another time. Best of the vein. Best of the vein, Inquisitor. Yeah, I think we're done there. All right. Do, 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 Alright, good stuff. Let us head back to Crestwood then. And I believe Josephine has completed her mission, so we can send her off somewhere else as well. Also, maybe we'll figure out where we're supposed to do that mission for Dorian. Is it in here somewhere? Hmm. Sir Revenger Torn. Oh, it's in the Exalted Plains. Okay. Alright, Inner Circle. What have you got for me? I guess I should go and talk to Cullen again at some point. Tell me what you got. Inquisition has some nerve. The woman we had locked in the cellars was spying for them, not the court. Try to recall what you spoke of in front of her, dear sister. It may be advisable to take the family holiday early this year. So did we get the spy? We had locked up. I don't know. Did we get the spy or not? So that requires Colin, I think. Or... Yeah, I think that's... Specifically, Cullen. Well, all right. Off you go, at Josephine. Your service. Go diplomat at that. And meanwhile, we will pop over to Crestwood again. Here. Alrighty, back to Crestwood to join up with Hawk. We got Dorian. Uh, I don't know if I want two mages. I mean, I do need a rogue. Should I bring Cole, even though he keeps dying all the time? Uh, let's bring Varric. That wasn't the video glitching out, that was just me trying to decide if I wanted to sacrifice Sarah's DPS to have Varric along. Because Varric's DPS is terrible, and I can't figure out how to improve it. Because I don't have the schematics for the next level of 
Bianca arms yet. Oh wait, yes I do. I should make some. I'll go do that at the keep. Alright. Whoa! Till the next time, all the best.